Hello and welcome back to Face to Face Conversations. Today I am talking to Wendy Ward. Wendy is a meaning, mood and mindset coach. She also is a spiritual intelligence and personal alchemy guide. Wendy likes to push the boundaries of what's possible in personal transformation and the image that we're talking about today marks the start of her spiritual and sexual awakening and the journey that that has taken on. And we discuss how when you open up yourself to new experiences you can learn so much about yourself and how the images associated with this become anchors for the rest of your life. Wendy, hello, thank you so much for joining me. Tell me about your picture. So um, this picture was, was taken about nine years ago and a friend of mine recently opened her photographic studio and she asked me to work with, um, on a shoot that was the feminine, the feminine divine. At that stage, I didn't know what the feminine divine was. Um, she's a very mischievous character um, and I just trusted and was absolutely open to her process. We spent two days, I stayed overnight and we played with this material, which I had collected and brought with me. And um, this was in South Africa, fur, texture, fabric. And so the, the, the whole shoot was fun, um, inspired. I leant into her and I knew she wanted to do this and one other photo that was a sculpted piece. So to tell you about the photo is to say that it's really a photo of a moment in my life that I had, that I lent into a kind of creative flow with, with um, a woman who I knew and trusted and came out with something that I could see, that I was proud of, that I thought was beautiful. I didn't even associate it with myself. I still don't. I just look at it as, um, almost like a, a, a sculpture, like I would, I would look at something that I went to see in an exhibition. So my, my feelings when I look at it are feelings of, you know, awe really, that, that something so beautiful was, was created out of two people coming together with a vision and idea, it was her idea, and then me being led to be sort of, she, she led me through a creative process, rather like you did with me. Amazing. I'm dying to see it. Please show, please show your picture. Wow. It's completely beautiful. Do you remember how you felt when those shots were being taken? If you look at your picture now and, and look at, look at your face, do you remember how you were feeling or what you were thinking? It's interesting because it was really the start of um, a journey of awakening, really right at the beginning. Um, and that spiritual awakening, prior to that, I, was, I could have described myself more of a thinker, an intellectual, um, a teacher. So this was the beginning of my spiritual awakening, coming in to understand basic premises of things like alignment and intention and manifestation and the divine connection to source um, but my my sexual awakening journey was was yet to come so it is interesting that I was in this shoot working with sexual energy um, in terms of using my body uh, and becoming recognizing the distinction between being an object of desire which is how the world would see it when one portrays the form out there, the sexual form or the body form or the feminine form out there. And this intuitive understanding that actually I could only do this if I became the subject of desire. So in a sense, I was doing something deeply intuitive that I then learnt in, in, in the following years as I became as I went on a deep journey into um, sexual awakening and working with beautiful creative energy 
and understanding that you know one's creative energy and sexuality is simply linked to our life force energy to the to the energy of pachamama to divine energy and so here i look at all at the intelligence that allowed me to tap into that without me really even beginning to understand it i was so in my innocence i was so in in no sense i wasn't trying to i i i, I meditated and i just allowed myself to be so open in that shoot and in this picture when you first looked at that picture compared to how, how you look at it now what do you see differently do you think oh, that's such a good question When I, when I first looked at it, I felt, I think, a sense of incredible fulfillment that, you know, um, I, I, I'm, I'm not a creative, I'm, I'm not a musician or an artist, but I felt like I had achieved something creative that had a physical result of a form. And in fact, I, I blew it up and put it onto a canvas. Well, not this one, but another one. Um, and I felt a sense of, 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 of pride, of, 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 of that I, 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 had, I had some expression that was outside of me. So there was an absolute wonder that something so extraordinarily beautiful could come out of two people playing in a studio with a bunch of material and lots of laughs, you know, and plenty of wine in, 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 in you know, at the appropriate moments in between. Um, and then moving on, I haven't looked at these photos for many, many years. So the opportunity to look at them at this was profound. And I just feel um, in the same way that I look at my own photos from face to face, this deep compassion for this woman um, and the journey that she's been on since. And I look, <clears throat> As someone in, excuse me, my mid fifties, and to 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 say, wow, you know, what a courageous thing to do, and um, it feels like that lifeline, that tapestry, it sort of connects. You know, photos connect you, don't they, to a point, and it's almost like you can time travel, woof, back. I think that's what photos do, um, and in that moment, sort of condense so much, and I and I just feel a kind of sense of honor that I was always on the right path, that my natural inclination and guidance was, was showing me, constantly showing me what was ahead. Thank you for your beautiful vulnerability and courage and honesty and sharing those emotions. I appreciate that so much. And I love you have such an enormous sense of self-connection and, and connection to the world uh, and everything around that. And I absolutely love that about you. What does this, do you think this picture will teach you in the future? <laughs> I saw that was, that was, that's a quite a hard question, that, but that give it awesome. a go. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, um, the answer that comes to me is that you can trust the future. The answer is deep trust. You know, it's this sense of um, if one can, even if it's in a short moment, go into um, an experimentational place, which this was for me, where I opened myself up to trust in that case, my friend and a creative um, experiment to, to know yourself. I had to know myself to the extent that I knew myself then to kind of show this aspect of me that had been hidden. So in a way, what it shows me about my future is how much there is still to be revealed, because if it is true that we're constantly growing, evolving, there's more of us emerging. You know, it, it's, it's to, to use a, an example that's just coming to me now, I'm looking out into my beautiful garden, into trees at the back of my garden, you know, and that acorn, there's a blueprint there. And 
So what this teaches me about the future is that we are emergent beings. There's something structural about uh, our, our, our life force, the thing that gives us life, that wants life for us, and that we're continually finding and you know, I can see that, that there are things in this woman that I have shared. I, I, I'm, I'm not that woman that I can see there in the photo and that there's a new woman here. You know, the wiser, older, um, quieter, not quite so wild, but still a little bit. Um, so it teaches me the power of being able to meet yourself where you are at any one moment to take the courage to dive into unknown the unknown um, and if i know anything about the future and if i know anything about this future that we are in those lessons of meeting the unknown being with uncertainty um meeting more of ourselves and knowing ourselves are the very recipe we need to know truth in order to navigate this deeply chaotic and dare I say dystopian future. Mm, beautiful. I love Hold ourselves it. into the future. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, I really, I, I agree with you about us being right where we're supposed to be right now on our journeys. I love that. You're, you speak with such joy and energy and you're so inspiring, Wendy. It's an, such a pleasure to know you and thank you ever so much for being on face-to-face -face conversations so beautiful to have you on thank you for everything that you've brought thank you Catherine your questions always um, challenge me and um, I'm really honoured to be working with you thank you what a very beautiful and moving conversation with Wendy I love how the image brought such creative fulfillment and pride for her and such deep sense of connection to herself especially the compassion that she then allows herself that she, she that she grants herself it's very very touching to see and hear that from her and I really think it's so important that we give ourselves time to find these things in our images to allow ourselves space to look deeper, look from a different perspective and from one of love and gentleness and compassion so that those are the things that we can start granting ourselves. So I hope you enjoyed today. If you have a conversation, an image even, that you would like to talk about on Face to Face Conversations, do get in touch. Mm -hmm.